Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm, take two. I'm Christy. This morning in the chapel, we have uh, Amos 514. Seek good, not evil, that you may live. Then the Lord God Almighty will be with you just as you say he is. So, remember to do good in the world, regardless of your um, beliefs or whatever. Good vibes. What goes around comes around. Do good, not bad. So, there we go. All right, and off the hook, I have one, and it's not, oh, I'm sorry. It's not totally off the hook, because i got to go find some cute buttons. I need two. It's got a little belt. I've got the little things for the arms, and it looks really cute. Done. haven't woven my ends yet, but i got to find the buttons. I just have them pinned. And... Other side has one, and then oh, I'm looking at it backwards. Uh, it has a little belt which gives it a waistline, and it is really cute. So, as soon as I get two buttons, I thought I had two. That's the thing, because I thought I had two, and then it turns out I can't find them or whatever. Okay, so that yarn was from a kit. And lucky for me, I still have this much left. Don't know how much it is. No, it's not a complete skein. But I will be using it to make something else. I don't know what yet. Um, I thought about making like a scarf or putting on a, putting a better neck on that. I like it just the way it is and I'm not going to put a big neck on it. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do with this though. I will find something to make, I'm sure. Uh, all right. Then, what I'm working on, I have this one. I haven't even made it through an entire skein. It is slow going, number one, due to the size of the yarn. And number two, because this is one of those projects that I have to have a, a little bit better lighting for. Um, and I just ripped out a stitch. Uh, I've had to rip out several times just because I missed this stitch or that stitch or got off count. And I just did it again. In trying to fix one, I have gotten off. And I am finding that, that is. If I don't look very closely at it, I can't tell which stitch is next. And so, with the wave, normally I get off right there. So I've had to rip out several times. <coughs> Excuse me. Just because I've crocheted in the dark and put the wrong stitch in the wrong spot. So, yeah, it's getting there. And remember, I have two skeins, and I'll see how long the back is, and then I'll go from there. So, and I'm not even through the first skein. Uh, yeah. I've worked on that, like, almost, like, every other evening, and I still haven't gotten very far. But, in my defense, I've had to rip out most of the stuff that I did one evening. I had to rip out two and a half rows another time, so, mm, I definitely have had to rip out quite a bit. So, all right, what else do I have that I'm working on? Okay, the next one is, I got my kit, and yeah, I didn't wait to show y'all. I started it. So, it is a bag, okay, and it's cute. I like it. So, I went ahead and started it. And they sent, the yarn that they sent is called Pretty Grundl, the G-R-U-N-D-L, Grundl, don't know. Um, two things about this yarn. Number one, it's soft, okay. I love it. The minute I did the bottom of the bag, I thought this would make cute slippers. So... Yeah, and it's crunchy. It is what it is, but 
it is very splitty, number one. And number two, I don't know if it's because it almost acts over spun to a point where when you ball wind it, you end up with yarn throw up every time. Okay. Every time you pull, it comes out in clumps. It doesn't just real easy. Um, it acts over, over, over spun and it spins a lot, uh, twist together a lot. And then because it's splitty, I've actually had a tangle, had this spin up. This one's not doing it too bad, but the gray did. It spun up like this and it ended up through one of the splits. Yeah, it was a tangled mess. So, and as you can see, I normally do center pull, you know, but this one, every time you center pull, this is the edge on the outside. And every time you center pull, you end up with a glob. Just something to consider if you're an impatient person. This is probably, and this is even tried in my patients, okay? I normally don't have it. I, you know, I've had worm get them. I've had hitch get them. And they get um, t tangled up and in line anyway um yeah it's not fun with this one and it happens on a regular basis so just keep that in mind if you are going to purchase any of this it when i did the bottom of it um they sent one two three four five skeins of this okay there's a blue a red two of the gray and then there's this, I say rust color, but it's orange. Um, so they sent that. And I have since started on it. I really like it. The bottom, because it's double layered, I was like, oh my goodness, this would make an amazing sold slipper. The only problem is, is how tangly and splitty the yarn. And I don't know. I don't know if it's in the winding of it or what, but yeah, it is what it is. I kind of like it. It's going to be a cute bag. I think I'm going to use it for yarn, but I have this many skeins to go. And I did modify it. If you look at the pattern, you'll see that the gray is on bottom, then the orange, then the red, then the blue. Well, I have shifted my gray and I put one skein, orange, red, blue, and the rest of the gray will go up here. I don't know. I just wanted it that way. I have no idea why. That's just the way I wanted it. So I've been working on that one. And this one, believe it or not, I just started, I don't know, a couple of days ago. I got the kit like right after I um podcast i thought oh i'll wait yeah i waited about four days and then decided i was gonna try it but the yarn if you're going to purchase that kind of yarn just remember to have patience it's not going to center pull just straight out it's going to glump 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 um and the the gray ball when i got so far and I actually stopped and just rewound it into a ball. It is so much easier than doing the center pole. So yeah, it's a cute kit. I like the yarn. Don't like the fact that it is very tangly and messy. And like I said, the gray, oh my gosh, the gray I would have swore was overspun because all it would do was, was twist together. The orange isn't doing that so much. So, maybe it was just the gray. I don't know. But there was more tangles and everything. And then when I center pulled the orange and it started clumping too, I'm pretty sure it's all going to do it. So, it is what it is. I want the bag. I'm going to work with the yarn. But, 
I will remember that if I am buying the yarn because if I am doing a quick project that is not the yarn to use because it doesn't then do quick or stop. It does a tangled mess. So, yeah. All right. What else have I been working? I think that's the only crochet I've been working on. Oh, I do have one other thing. And I'm kind of glad. So if you remember, I got that yarn for this. And I was going to make something from the book I got from the club. And I had kind of picked out, this is my favorite. Okay. Let me see if I can get a better picture. There we go. And supposedly I had enough yarn to do it. I didn't like the cotton. I didn't want it that thick. I wanted it kind of dainty. And so I went and got that other yarn and then I didn't like the way it pulled. Then when I got my kit from this month, I got a correction. And you are never going to guess which pattern it is on. So according to this, it's the palmy card again from Delicate Crochet. Okay, here's my book, Delicate Crochet. There is the palmy cardigan. Oops. Yep, it was the one I was going to make. And there are, it seems that it was one mistake that carried through the, uh, I'm sorry. It was one mistake that carried through the, uh, they actually, it's like two. Um, it's how many, the number of stitches is the first one. Okay. And that carried through every time they said how many stitches it carried through. So they had to correct all of those. And then it's in the sleeves, attaching the sleeves. It also messed up the count for where you should attach those. So, yeah, that's it. it. It was a mess up on the counts and how many you need to have and where to connect it. So, they, they really do do a good job of not having to. I think twice I've had a, corrected, a correction sent to me. I think that's it. I don't... You know, I don't know. I don't really correct them. I've had one that, I, that they used the wrong, um, what do you call it, stitch name on. That's it. So, yeah, it is what it is. Um, all right, the other things that I've been working on um, is, I don't know if you can, I'll just... Yeah. I'll just bring it over here. I have one and a half bobbins of this yet lovely wool. This is the last of the two pounds that I got, what, two years ago? I got six pounds is what I got, but this is the last two pounds of the same kind. It's just domestic long wool, I think, or domestic something wool. And I am in the process of doing it up. I still have four of the, or three of these big bumps. So, yeah. I will be doing it in parts. I will apply it. When I get two full bobbins, I'll apply it. And then um, fill those two bobbins again. So, yeah. We'll see how much it makes. I am having fun doing it, and I'm back just doing a little bit of spinning. So, um, RJ, you guys say a prayer for him. He's having a tough time with his father right now. Uh, he is His father blew up another car, and that's what happens when you don't change the oil, ever. 
Um, and RJ cannot make him understand. I think he's off his meds again because anybody in the right mind that has driven, he's 50, you know, going on 60. Um, yeah, he, he just won't change the oil in the car. So he blew up another one. RJ is trying to find another one for him. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, and that, of course, is leaving money tight because he won't buy him a good one and do it on payments. He just wants to find him a little thousand dollar car and go from there because he's pretty sure he's going to tear it up anyway. And his dad, only said, yeah, I found this one for twenty five hundred. It's a really nice car for that price. RJ goes, you're just going to tear it up anyway. Why can't we find a cheaper one? And so his dad didn't talk to him the rest of the night and was mad. So, but RJ is like, no, we're not getting a, a really expensive car for him to tear up. And I said, I've, he just puts gas in him and goes, and he won't listen to anyone. that You have to maintain it and service it. He just won't. So it's making life hard on RJ, especially since, you know, he's just coming off of a time when he didn't work. And short sales because of the mud. It's winter. It always gets tight. Um, he just, he's doing the best he can. And money's tight right now. So, yeah. But he's working on it. He is trying his best. And if we get that trailer sold, it would help immensely. So, hopefully, the right buyer is out there. Fingers crossed. Send mojo get that thing gone and then um, it served its purpose when we had it but now he's not using it so it needs to go um okay so you guys are waiting patiently and I know you are because today is Monday February 6th alright so what I've come up with for a prize for 2,000 subscribers is I have come up with a pattern. Okay, it is one that I made, didn't really care for, probably won't make again. But they are cozy. Okay. Um, and it is what it is. Okay. It's one size fits most. It's little hoodies, slippers. And hat. So you can be nice and cozy warm. It's a beanie. And it is a woman's pattern, so it's most size fits all. Um so yeah, you'll get this. And it's just a hand me down, something I'm never gonna use again. But a pattern is a pattern, and when you're crocheting, hey, who knows what you need. All right, then we have six skeins of lavender. Can't even read. My eyes are not. It's Mary Maxim Baby's Best. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, it's kind of hard to read on that. The sun isn't up yet, so the lighting is not great in here yet. But it is lavender, or lilac, whichever, lavender. And there are six beautiful skeins of that. Then I struggled with the sewing part. I wanted this cute little, in my mind, um, sewing kit. You know, one, a little zipper pouch. It's got little scissors, little needle. I couldn't find anything like that. They were either big and 20 bucks, you know, with lots of stuff in them that I'd never get through the mail. Um, or they were like these little chintzy $1.97 plastic tubs with stuff in them, you know. So I couldn't find one that I liked. So I came up with some appliques. Oh, um, you're not going to be able to see that. Let's see. Okay. This one 
is a beautiful flower. This one is a cross. And I'm not going to take them out of the package. And of course, in true me fashion, we got heart paw prints. So, all of this is going to one lucky winner. And that winner has one week to contact me. I'm not going to sit here and hold this. If you remember, one year we just kept waiting and waiting and waiting, and they never did. And then we had to do another drawing. And so you got one week um, to claim your prize. And who I am talking about is. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Crochet and Knitting Addiction with Sherry. And Sherry is S-H-A-R-I. So, yeah, get a hold of me and let me know. Um, we just did it with random number generator, put in the number of comments we had. Count it down, that was it. It wasn't rocket science. So, yeah, there's your winner. Congratulations, Sherry. Or crocheting. Crochet and Knitting Addiction with Sherry. So, congratulations to her. Get with me. Um, my email address is down below. Let me know where to send this, and I will get that mailed out to you. All right. I think that is everything that I have been doing. Um, yeah. Other than that, I am playing with my hair. I cut off about two inches of my hair. Don't know if I like it or not. Makes it a little bit more wavy, curly. I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> It'll grow. So, all right, I'm going to get off here. I still have to, uh, I've got my chores done, but I still need to get my right pants on and my jacket on and stuff and get ready for work. So, put my face on. Yeah, I was laughing. Somebody said something about makeup. We were watching a, a commercial about some kind of makeup or something and somebody said something. Roommate said something about war paint. Okay. And of course I was like, so I always look like I have war paint. And of course then it came out that all I do is my eyes and I do them the same every day and that's it. And then I'll do either lip gloss. I've been on just chapstick. Um, I have lipstick. I just don't wear it a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, it's not that hard. I just do eyeshadow and mascara. Apparently, that's not enough to constitute war paint. So, all right. I'm going to get off here and get to work. Get my stuff done. Um, honestly... A duck's doing good. So, all right, I'm off here and I will talk to y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.